Heavenly Father, we thank you for the beauty and sanctity of marriage and the opportunity to witness and celebrate the union of these two very loved people. Lord, we invite your presence to not only establish the firm foundation of covenant marriage between Brett and Andalyn, but we ask that you would also breathe fresh life into the marriages of everyone present with us here today. And as we celebrate the everlasting power of covenant love, we know that we are ultimately celebrating the unconditional love and grace that you offer each one of us through relationship with Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, and it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Let's talk about love, like you and me all night, and let's talk about love. Brett, it has been an honor to get to know you over the past couple of years. I remember meeting you, and I remember actually honestly wondering if you were coming to church more for Andalyn or Jesus. I wasn't quite sure right out of the gate there, but as I've gotten to know your heart, it's very clear to me that you are a man of God, that you love the Lord a lot, and that actually your, your love for her is birthed out of your relationship with Christ. Grow in your love for God first and foremost. It will help you love and lead your family well. The greatest blessing you can give to your family is to show them Christ more clearly in you. Love, serve, and nurture Andalyn. And she will never be a burden to you. She will be God's greatest gift to you other than himself. I've got something on my mind I bet you know what I'm thinking about You know I can't stop loving you Every time when you're looking at me It feels like my heart is keeping on beat, yeah You know I can't live without you You make me crazy In a good way So come on, baby Let's talk Let's talk about love Put the gospel on display by your actions and pray fervently for her. <laughs> Dang, you look great. Wow. The hard work of prayer is the best thing you can do for Brett because ultimately he will be transformed by the working of the Holy Spirit and be reminded of the gospel often. God will use you more than anyone else to grow Brett into the image of Christ and the leader that you desire for your family. Having pledged your love and commitment to one another, and having sealed your vows by the giving and receiving of rings before God and these witnesses, by the power vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, and as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Brett, you may kiss your bride. Let's talk about love.